Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In today's episode, we're going to use Clonezilla to back up a Windows 10 virtual machine. Let's get started. I'm connected to my MacBook Pro and we've got my Windows 10 virtual machine over here and we're going to do an image backup of it. I've already set the boot media to be the clonezilla live disk so we'll say okay to that and we'll go ahead and get the process started the first part of this is going to look very similar to what you saw in my previous clonezilla video we're going to accept a series of defaults and then we'll let it do its thing and i'll come back after it's complete and we will chat about that. So this should be booted up here fairly quickly and as long as I don't type in the IP address incorrectly we should be set to go. So our language is English of course and default keyboard layout start clonezilla we're going to do device image we're going to go to a Samba server our network card is going to use DHCP and the IP address of the server is 55 or ends in 55. There's no domain admin. It's going to get stored in slash images. And we're going to try SMB protocol 3. New system default. Enter the password. Enter to continue. We're going to use beginner mode. Save local disk as image. And we're going to accept the name. We'll accept that. And we're going to skip checking the file system. And we'll skip checking the saved image. And no to encrypting the image. And when this is done we're going to let it prompt us for what to do and it gives you the command line information so that you can run this again without using the menu driven system we're just going to hit enter to continue and it's going to start doing its thing you want to continue yes and this is going to take a while all right we are back as you can see on your screen the cloning process has finished and we are in a position where we can go ahead and set the machine to shut down again this is a virtual machine that we've cloned and we're going to select the power off option for the VM and there's a little countdown and remove the live medium which is already removed enter to continue and it should go ahead and power itself off. If it doesn't, we'll just force close it since it's a VM. Alright, it took a second, but it is it does look like it's gonna go down. So in the grand scheme of things, you know, there are many ways you can back up a VM. The tools built into VirtualBox or your virtualization platform of choice should offer a way to export but the nice thing about doing it this way is that if you wanted to restore it to another machine you've got an additional way that you can accomplish that and i'm sure we've all had situations where a backup hasn't gone quite right and so having two different forms of backup even for a vm 
especially when you're talking about Windows with the licensing costs involved, having a second way to restore that machine may not be a bad thing if you can afford the storage space it's going to take up. Alright, so we've got our machine powered off and that will bring us to the end of this video. In the next video, we are going to create a completely new virtual machine and then we will restore from the image using Clonezilla and boot it up and see if it works. Until next time, thank you for watching. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and click the bell icon for notifications. And until the next video, have a great day.